Hello YouTube, how you doing? How you doing? This is Keith Kevin Kent. Time again for another Pocket Dump Deconstruction. It is Tuesday, April 14th. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Almost went into the future. Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. <laughs> Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. Almost went to the future, April 14th. Yeah. And guess what? On April 14th, you. No, 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 not you. You. You win the lottery. Good luck. Send me some cash. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. Today at work, I have to speak uh, at an all staff meeting. That's everybody. So I'm rushing out of here. Uh, I wanted a good, simple, and classy carry for today. And you'll see that I went the Chris Reeve way again. Yesterday I did the same thing. I liked it. I felt comfortable with it. Um, I almost went a spidical way, and I'll show you with the knife that got away. Classy is all get up, but I went the Chris Reeve way instead. So let's talk about the carry. I've got my tag. It's funny. You know, I was running. Usually tag is one of my weak um, in watches and I was in my uh, uh, arm, armoire you know what that means closet I was in my closet and I was picking out a watch and I I, I thought I had grabbed my fancy smancy uh, Concord and then I got in the living room I was running to put everything together since I have to get out of here and not be late at work which is a rare thing and I realized I had my tag, and I went, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you're talking in front of everybody uh, at the company. I don't run the company. I'm just one of the managers. And, uh, yeah, put the tag. It's classy, but it's not show-off-y. Um, yeah, hold on. Oh, I'm going to be thinking about this during the entire meeting. It's going to be in my breast pocket, my dress shirt. It's a Monte Cristo. You know, Monte Cristo was one of my first Cuban cigars. This and the Cohiba. I had read so much about it that when I went to England, and I finally got a chance to grab some and smuggle some back. Uh, <laughs> I had to get Monte Cristos. And there's still some of the originals in my humidor. This is not one of the originals. This is one of the newer ones, at least for me. It's the Monte Cristo Open Series, um, and this is Regatta. I have a number of these um, in my humidor. Man, you can't go to any meeting, take notes, or do anything without a shown design pen. You know, I'm, I have a bunch of varieties of Spydecos, varieties of Chris Reed, Browse Blades, and all my other knives, case knives. But I stick with Sean Design Pen. I, I just like it. It's small. It's hefty. That's the full tie version. I just like it. I do. Makes me feel manly. Um, yeah. I'm doing scotch. And yes, it's McAllen. And it's 18. McAllen 18. I'm going to need to celebrate a wonderful speech. Well... Uh, receive speech or forget the horrible speech that I just made so I need to do that in class with a lot of McAllen <laughs> this is my uh, one of one of my small uh, Mont Blanc skinny wallets and yeah I figured I'd do the unicorn have a piece of my grandsons with me they love this coin this is one of four coins this is from 1995 Chinese coin unicorn coins I have all four of them I just love them just very well done kind of rare uh and of course I always carry a silver coin people go, silver coin because they don't see people carrying that no you think carrying a silver coin for good luck and a and a reminder of my grandfather when he used to carry silver dollars is weird but carrying spinners and three <laughs> bottle openers <laughs> and a pry and a mini pry bar is not weird on a keychain. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Or in your pocket. Come on, come on. By the way, love spinners. <laughs> love seeing all the different can openers. Don't get me wrong. That's not hate. I'm just, I laugh when people go, and you have a coin. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about, um, <laughs> let's talk about the carry and talk about the knives. Um, check out the knife of the day. That reminded me when I picked up this blue Nacision Cricut. Check out the knife of the day. I just put it up on this channel. Check them all out, man. We're already like 45 knives in. Wow. I promise people, uh, a lot of the, the people who have been following for a long time watching all these videos that I was going to go through my Spydeco collection. And we are one knife at a time, one day at a time. And then we're going to Chris Reeve. Now, people want me to jump back and forth. And honestly, I need to keep track. So <laughs> I'm going to go one knife at a time. This is just a fancy smancy knife. I decided to go fancy smancy. You guys know I love my crickets, the Spydeco Cricket. This one has an incision pattern on the scales on the show side, blue incision. They also come in the, the gray incision. Limited edition sprint runs. Um, let's see. Uh, incision is really the pattern that you see. And that pattern is a specific incision pattern from a specific kimono in Japanese culture. It's uh, glass fibers weave together to make that pattern. VG10 um, steel with this big belly, Spydeco's reverse S shape that really, this one gives you a lot of belly. And that tip is not super thin. You can still work with it. See-through construction. You can tell it's one of the newer versions because it is the frame lock version. I just like how, you know, this is such a wonderful knife. It still has your choil. Look at my big fat Michelin Man hands. It just fits nice for a little knife. This is a wonderful gift knife and it's wonderful to use as a money clip as well. Um, the decision we talked about 1.9 inch blade um more like what 1.6 inch of edge it only weighs about one one and three quarters inches i mean one and three quarters ounces sorry about that one and three quarters ounces just a nice knife here we go with the fancy smancy, but man, I just feel good. I need this in my pocket to feel confident when I'm standing up there in front of people. I, by the way, I don't mind speaking in front of people, but still need a little confidence to get it going. This is the Blade HQ exclusive from Chris Reeve. It's the uh, carbon fiber inlaid from Chris Reeve. Carbon fiber is just a space age material. It's light, it's beautiful. Uh, in this case, it has the same pattern as all the other inlays from Chris Reeve. You know, the wooden inlays um, with on top of the shiny titanium, two on the show side, one on the work side, the back side. Again, polished titanium, but leaving the lock in the clip. I just think that's a nice classy touch. Keep it a little raw. This is a work knife. It really is. Uh, 2.9 inch blade and some of the best raindrop Damascus I have. Just a real nice knife. And then, <laughs> I keep saying it's one of my favorite. It's so smooth. I wish we had knife -o vision so you can open and close it and fill it in the hand. Just feels great and it's so smooth. Yes, it's plain Jane on the scales, all titanium with that Chris Reeve integral frame lock. But when you open up the ladder Damascus blade, 3.6 inches of heaven. <laughs> Just nice. Man, this, this you have. I talk about how I love how he keeps the lock and the clip and doesn't shine it up in titanium. And here, 
He gives you the fancy blade. I feel like it was going to go down. <laughs> it feels so smooth. Um, they give you the fancy Devin Thomas ladder Damascus. That's just beautiful. And that plain Jane handle. And oh, I only have one of these and I have a small Sabenza 21-1 too. Both ladder Damascus. They do have them in raindrop and um, uh, basket weave. I'm going to have to pick up <laughs> the entire collection one day. After taxes, after I play, pay Uncle Sam a lot of money, then we'll start. And I, after I finish crying for a month, then I'll go back and buy something that big. That's the carry, folks. Wish me luck at work with this in my pocket and having a chance to talk to you guys ahead of time. Just makes me feel good. This was the knife that went away. I, 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 I almost it got away. I almost went classy spidaco on everybody i was going to use the sage fire this my friends is the most anticipated knife one of the most i think this in the para three of 2016 and i'll tell you something i am not disappointed it's um carbon fiber on top of g10 but man it feels like real carbon fiber um it it as a sage series what the sage series does is celebrate the locks and the knife makers who created all the special locks in this case spidaco waited till their fifth knife to celebrate themselves in the compression lock and you know what no one's complaining no they were sages when they came out with the compression lock just a wonderful lock very strong just fancy they sold a lot of knives paramilitary too with that compression lock you're starting to see the compression lock show up in a lot of different places in fact this year 2017 they're coming out with two flippers with a compression lock for the first time yeah one of them will be a brad southard flipper um the other one you guys remember that weird knife i i bought it go check out my video of all the knives from spydeco in 2016 i bought all the folders it's the ouroboros yeah it looks like a knife eating its tail uh that's going to be a flipper and again with the compression lock uh, same format as all the sages of course the three inch leaf shaped blade from spydeco with that 50-50 choil, oh, it, it's, it shouts out Spydeco, but man, what class, what class. Of course, the compression lock, I like it, I really do. But I'm not carrying that, I'm going Chris Reeve on them today. <laughs> hey, you guys, man, do you realize we've been doing this? Do you and I have been doing this for over a year? I can't believe it, every single day every single day so i really appreciate it if you've been appreciating these videos or if this is your very first time seeing this crazy guy talking about work and <laughs> what he has in his pockets hit that subscribe button we're trying to get to 2000 it's a slow drudge to 2000 but i'm so happy you guys are on board with me um so hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know I do buy knives. I've already bought about, what, five of them, six of them this year, more coming. So you don't want to miss any of those videos. Also, um, don't forget to like it. Thumb this sucker up. Hit that thumb up. That just keeps me going. It gives me energy. I'm an old guy. I'm 57. I need some energy to do this every single day before running off to work. And trust me, that gives me a bunch of energy. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. You guys have a perfect day. See, I mean that. And take some time for yourself. I did not have time for myself yesterday. I've been running all around and I felt it. I really did. Um, so spend some time on you. Be selfish. I'll give you permission. You have a perfect one, okay? Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.